Hello, welcome to Chris Parking Shooting Sports. Today we've got another unboxing video. Uh, this, I believe, is an FX air rifle. And I think this time I've had an FX Impact Mark II. I've had the Mark III. Those have been quite good because I've been using those as sort of target rifles, especially the Mark III sub 12 foot pound. But this time we've got an FX Crown. So I shall open it up and show you what's in the box. I shall also, I'm going to put this to one side for one second. That is an Element Optics Nexus, which is the top end element scope. This is a 5 to 20 by 51st focal plane milli radian. So, my preferred measuring system as well. Let's just put that out of the way for one moment. We won't knock it off the bench then. Now, the FX Air rifles always come in a nice, high quality carry case, which we need to get out of here and put that on the floor. We don't need that now. So, here we go. What's inside the box? We've got some good snap latches on the front. These are nice and solid. They don't tend to uh, come adrift unnecessarily. What's inside? And that is it. So, this is the compact laminate in the black pepper stock. And well, I'm quite a laminate stock lover, especially on air rifles, because they are super stable, super consistent. And we look like we've got some nice machine there. We've got some adjustability. There's, a, there's obviously a, an Allen slot there. To do the Allen key, move the cheek piece up and down. The butt pad looks adjustable. There's an Allen slot at the back there. So we'll be looking at those afterwards. But more importantly, what have we got? What can we see here? Now, I believe that is an inclined rail. So we've got a bit of long range potential from an air gun and we've obviously got a fully shrouded barrel here. But it looks like there is also the possibility for putting an additional moderator on there. And I have actually got one. I think it's one of the Matt Dubber special moderators, but I'll have to check on that one afterwards. So we've got carbon fiber body bottle. That's obviously wrapped around aluminium for its airtight nature. It's probably a 250 bar fill. It will tell me, but the filling varies for Foster there. That comes off, clip that on there, fill that up. You've got pressure here. And we've also got regulator pressure on. No, we haven't got regulator pressure anywhere else. We've just got the one. Oh, sorry, it's right there in front of me, isn't it? So, missed that one. Side cocking handle, Picatinny rail, or Picatinny mounting system. It's not a true rail because it's got separation there for the magazine. Then we look like we've got high, low power adjuster here which may well be uh, appropriate for, for shooting inside barns and things like that. And then we've also got another adjuster here. The trigger system looks like it's fully adjustable. It's fully adjustable on the shoe and there's more adjustment within there that I can see down there for getting weights and things set up quite likely. So we'll, we'll look at that when we look at the instruction book. But that is, it's a very, very different rifle to the Impact. This is probably more of a hunting rifle because we've got a bit more of a forum, got a bottle for a rest support. You can add things like bipods to the bottle as well. But we've also got a thumb hole grip, so it's completely ambidextrous. You can shoot it left or right handed, and it's got side lever clock, side lever cocking. So I'm just going to safely dry fire that. It's unloaded, and there we go. So that will probably benefit from having a sound moderator on it because it's a little bit noisier than I was expecting. But the safety catch is on the sound on the side here. Fire and save, two position, that's quite in use. Can't be swapped to the its side. And the magazine's gonna go in there. So, let's have a look and see what else is hiding. And here it is. That is the magazine. And like most FX magazines, it's quite high capacity. It's got a little latch there. So you open that up, pop the cap off, and then basically you turn that all the way round to there pop a pellet in it to lock position, then you fill all the other slots. Now, that's a 2.2 calibre, and it says on it, not sure what capacity it is, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 shots, that looks like. Now, that is plenty for a hunting foray without, you know, stopping for five minutes to just reload it. And, and the, the big advantage of it being not enormous is that it does make it a little bit more compact. Now, that is going to go somewhere in here by the looks of it. 
So we'll figure that out one, that one there, it goes in there. So it's going in that way up. Now it won't close because of course with the, um, the rotor around there's no pellet, the probe can't go through so the bolt can't close. But because it's offset to the side, which you can see there, or perhaps, perhaps from above it's offset from the side, it gives you more space for your scope tube without you know, lifting the scope unnecessarily high. So pop that back out. That's got a little sliding system on it. So the probe and the actual breech face of the barrel slide into that little slot on the back of the magazine. So this is the first time I've seen one of these guns, first time I've seen one, first time I've handled one. Um, instantly, I like the size and proportions of it. This is a short barrel. I don't know exactly how long it is. I think that's probably going to be, let's call it 600 millimeters. Um, I like Picatinny mounting systems, it gives you so much versatility for scope spacing and I'm going to be shooting this one later on this afternoon. But my immediate thoughts are, it shoulders immediately and I'm quite versatile in the fact I do like to be able to shoot a rifle left handed. And if you look on the stock here, you can actually see how the thumb up position is available on both sides. So it is a truly ambidextrous rifle. I am really looking forward to using this one. Very much so. Put the extra sound moderator on it and I'll get that set up. So we've got the element scope. Is there anything else in the box that I'm missing out on here? Obviously the box has got little panels you can take out for adding things like additional barrels, other accessories from FX. But in terms of what's in the instruction manual, let's have a little look. And it's upside down and backwards. So, usual warnings, we've got warranty information, three years, rifle features, smooth twist X barrel system, yes, interchangeable core barrel liner to adopt for various twist rates. Um, that's uh, on a separate manual is needed for that purpose, but it's a little bit more complicated, it's more to do with the tuning of the rifle. Uh, and of course in different markets, depending on the energy levels you're allowed, that will vary with that too. Interchangeable caliber system, obviously, if you go for a larger, this is a 2.2, so if I was to convert that to a 2.5, it would actually exceed 12 foot-pounds because larger pellets are just generically slightly more efficient, so the same amount of air gives them a bit more uh, energy. Um, Built-in moderator, yes, we've got that external adjuster for the power, which is the hammer spring tension. We've got dual manometers, so we've got the regulator pressure and the bottle pressure. Externally adjustable AMP regulator, adjustable match trigger, high capacity magazine, I think we said that was at 18 was it what we said? Um, switch dial safety, quick fill system, there's also an adapter in the bag here which has got the, the Foster adapter, click, uh, quick, quick clip on to go on your air bottle. And adjustable recoil pad which we didn't look at in huge detail but that one will be on the, on the full review video and you'll certainly see this is going to get used because I've actually got some pellet testing to do. Um, in 2.2 caliber. So cleaning, storage, dry, etc. possible, you can preferably store pressurized, etc. Uh, safety operations, how to load the magazine. So you've got instructions. Um, they recommend JSB pellets, but I've actually got a, I've got a selection to go through, including FX's own pellets. We've got some RWS, we've got Accupels, I've also got some JSBs. Shows you how to pressurize it, shows you how to remove the dust cap, click on the adapter. Uh, only use female, female quick connectors from FX Airgun. So it's saying, you know, use their connector. It's the one that's recommended. So uh, I haven't seen yet. Uh, it does actually say if a hand pump is used, the moisture trap must be drained at regular intervals during the pumping cycle. Do not get these things full of moist air, dry air only. Oh, it does actually say here, only dry air should be used. Under no circumstances should oxygen or any other gas be used to fill the air tubes. This could result in serious injury or death. Pressurised oxygen in that sort of scenario sounds quite dangerous to me. So, uh, uncocking the rifle, inactivating the trigger system, cocking and loading. You've got notes here for all your settings, so you can actually use that to, um, to, to, to make your own annotations as to how things work out. Tells you about adjusting the power, so front power adjusters, the airflow locator on the left side of the breech block, gives the ability to adjust the power from high to low. So this being UK spec, it's 12 foot pounds or just below for legal limits. Generally speaking, I think you're not going to, to, to want much lower than 12, but there are occasions, especially like I said in Barnes, where you do want to drop it right down. The rear power adjuster, spring tension adjuster is located on the left side of the cocking breech. Uh, spring tension, blah, 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 bl
So there's all sorts of things that right, it says, notice, never adjust the power when the rifle is cocked. I have been guilty of that in the past. I didn't break anything, that was on the Mark II. I didn't break anything, but yes, read the instructions. It does tell you not to do it. I am deliberately not a huge instruction reader because I like to find out how things, how simple they are, you know, how much, how easy it is just to put your hands on them and use them. Because although, yes, you should read instructions, no one, you know, not everybody always reads instructions and you have to make sure things aren't going to be easily broken by, you know, badly um, people like me with, with, with bad common sense using them incorrectly. So external regulator, increase regulator pressure, decrease regulator pressure. Gives you all the warnings about making sure there's nothing in the barrel. Air shots in a safe direction should always be fired. Um, notice never adjust the regulator above 160 bars. This damage to the system may occur. Never use the gun below them. Set regulator pressure as damage to the system may occur and will void your warranty. Um, Changing calibre, so it gives you all the things about barrel swaps and this, that and the other. Usually you can adjust, you can remove these screws or something like that and the barrel will slot out, the, the liner will come. Um, bullet probe or pellet probe. Adjustment standard trigger system. Ah, good, right, we've got some nice adjustment systems here on the trigger. So you can adjust the first and the second stage, adjustment length of adjustment, length of movement. Um, so yes, it shows, it tells you all about how they are relative to each other. So again, if you're going to buy one of these, that's one worth reading up on and looking through. So the only thing left for me to go now is here. It says max pressure is 250 bar. So essentially, when we fill up, we do not want that beyond 250 bar because that is the bottle pressure. This will be the regular regulator pressure, which looks like it's sitting on about 60, 70, 80. Yeah, about 60 bar that's sitting on for the... Um, for the regulator pressure there. So there we go. This one's gonna give me several hundred shots off one of these. I would suspect at least 300, if not more. This is gonna be a great hunting rifle. I am so looking forward to using this. Um, please like, please subscribe, please comment. Tell us more about what reviews you'd like to see, what things you like shown, whether you want tutorials, instruction videos, how-to videos, let us know. Please like, please subscribe, I've said it again. Thank you for watching, bye for now. Thank you.